Hello, how you doing today again? Welcome to another episode of Ubuntu and Open Source. So I want to talk a little bit about Top Menu. Um, as you can see in my uh, panel on top here, I have a global menu. But it's not Top Menu. It's not even an LX panel. The panel is... Uh, if you if I pronounce it right, Vala panel. If I pronounce it wrong, please forgive me and let me know how to pronounce it. V A L A panel, Vala panel. So that's my panel on top. So if you right click here, you try to use the top menu from. Uh, the Ubuntu uh, .me website here for tips and tricks, uh, tweaks some um, yeah tips and tricks. And if you try to paste everything, it reads everything, but there's nothing there for Bionic Fever. So if we come to here with the Ubuntu top menu dash GTK packages, um, we can read here, please remove top menu GTK and all sources and binary packages from Bionic Archive. Top menu GTK is abandoned upstream and contains significant bugs. And it talks about the equivalency with is this panel that I have on top here, VALA VALA panel for uh, LXDE. So if we go to Synaptic, And we search for Vala panel. We find it right here. And this is the one you want to install for the Vala, Vala panel. And when you, after you uh, install it, you find it in your systems tool directory here. Now, to get the global menu part, you have to install this one as well. And, and uh, also the other parts that it, you know, it says to install, that, that install automatically along with it. Install everything that Vala panel and everything that it uh, installs automatically. And install the Vala panel app menu and everything it wants to install automatically as well. And so after you do that, you can literally come here to your Val panel and launch it. But every time you restart, you have to launch it again. So what I did in my default application on auto start, I added it uh, to the auto start application. So it would start automatically. Now this down here is still my uh, LX panel in uh, from the default install, and I just modified it a little bit so it works like more like a dock instead of a uh, panel. So my Val panel, it's different from the default. After you install it, the quick launcher is different. Uh, I got rid of everything except for the PC Man FM. And, af and I had to in I add this here, which is the uh, global menu part. 
And now I have it twice. So as you can see, it, it's also all the way to the right. So let me go ahead and take that one off. And my clock. Same type of configuration that you would find in the LX panel. And uh and it's syntax here for the time for the clock format and the tool tip format. Separator, I set it to stretch. Oh, I'm sorry, I separated the four and this checked off to stretch. There was nothing here that I wanted to uh, do. Um, you can click on this here. And so the compact view mode, it acts like a drop down menu instead of going across. And use bold application name. So when I click on it, Oops, didn't mean to do that. As you can see here, LX panel is in bold while the rest is, everything else is in bold. And so that's how I configured my uh, Vala panel. So you can still get a panel with a global menu in LX DE or Ubuntu. Thank you.